another two-parter. Uh, I've always felt like that when I walk in a room at a party or anywhere else, I can always tell who the president is and I can <coughs> always tell who a quarterback is. Is he a guy that can be, even with good coaching, a leader in the clubhouse, to use a golf term there? But we already mentioned the headphone incident and you talked about uh, the problem in the meeting room. Is he really, that seems to me missing that he just is not a leader type. And the second part is they've replaced him with a guy that can't play dead. So, yeah. <laughs> well, what are they trying yeah. to do there? I mean, they're trying say? to find out whether Blake Gabbert can play. No, we already know that. You know, I, Kaepernick is, is part of the kind of the, I don't know if it's the, well, it's the social media age where, you know, he, I think he believed that he could just connect through his fans uh, with social media and then the, the rest. Uh, of it, uh, he didn't really have to worry about. You know, you're saying he lacks inter- you're saying he lacks interpersonal skills, is what you're saying? <laughs> I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. and and also just you know, I don't because uh, Peyton Manning dresses this way and acts this way after a press conference because Tom Brady does because Drew Brees does heck because Russell Wilson does doesn't mean that I have to do that. I, I'm my own guy. I'm going to play by my own rules. And w- what's happened is that. Uh, he, I think he's found out the tough way that, oh, you know what, maybe those rules do apply to me as well. I, I think he has tried harder this season. You know, he, He's never going to fill up your notebook. Uh, I mean, I've had talks with him about this, uh, especially when, kind of, when Russell Wilson kind of bursted on the scene. And I did something where I, I asked Russell Wilson uh, on a week where the 49ers played Seattle the same exact questions I asked. Great idea. Colin Kaepernick, and their responses were, I mean, they were almost exactly the same, but the way they said it was differently. You know, so Kaepernick said it in one five-word sentence. You know, Russell said it in five sentences. And, you know, it, it's a matter of just, you know, learning how to play the game, and I, and I mean that off the field as much as on the field. And I think it's kind of, I think it's coming into focus to Kaepernick now, but I think it's too late. You know, he hasn't built up the, the kind of credit uh, th- that a quarterback needs. You, you never want to give a team uh, off the field reasons or other reasons uh, to to look for them to look to get rid of you if things are, aren't going well on the field. And I think that's what's happened in, in many instances with Colin Kaepernick. Let's forget the 49ers. Rams, which is easy to do, by yeah. the way. <laughs> but but you 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 follow closely that division. You just mentioned Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. They beat the Cowboys four and four. Arizona six and two. Rams hanging around. Who, if any, wild card team's going to come out of there, and who's going to win the division, Matt? Well, I don't think right now. I don't think a wild card team uh, could come out of here. Uh, just because I think of the parity. I mean, I, Seattle's, I mean, Seattle barely beat a, a banged up Cowboys team. They're going to lose a few more games. They, they have some issues. They're not as good as they've been in the past. I, I think still the team that's, that's going to win the division is Arizona. I, I think their, their defense is, is good. They have the best offense in the league. Uh, as long as Carson Palmer can stay healthy, uh, I think they're the, the team to beat. It, it's, a, it's a good division, one through three. No question about it. But the problem is that two and three also have to play, you know, those other two teams. So, you know, none of those three is going to make it through, you know, unscathed in the second half of the season as far as the divisional opponents. And it's kind of surprising to me that the one team that went three and zero through the first round of the playoffs or through the first round of the season is the Rams. Um, and so I, I, I do think it's going to be tough for that second place team to get in there into the wild card. But the uh, so I think the, the Cardinals are, are in my mind with the two game advantage heading into the final uh, half of the season. I, I think they they built up a, a good enough cushion that they'll be able to hold teams off. What's your uh, Twitter handle? My Twitter handle is Mayoko M A I O C C O. C S N. So 
uh, Comcast Sportsnet Bay Area. So Mayoko CSN. You know, Matt, you could have picked something easier. You know that, don't you? I know. <laughs> you know what? I went through the line when they were giving out names, and I, I turned could, out Matt. You could have gone Matt CSN. That would have been a lot. Of, <laughs> Matt, we really appreciate your time and your insight. We'll uh, okay, we'll talk to you soon. Appreciate appreciate you having me on. All right, Matt.